What is good, Council of Comics? Welcome to part two of our 51 book haul. We got about 28 books in this pile, and we're going to give you all the full totals at the end of the video. All right, so this is episode number 38. Let's go. the brightest day. Where are the heroes? What's good, Council of Comics? Welcome to episode number 38, Comic Book Pickups, part two of the 51 book haul. We went out to Haven for Heroes and Port Jervis. Shout out to Emmett and the crew. You can find them on YouTube and Instagram. All right, let's get into this. First up, we got about 28 books in this haul. All right, so plus the 23 from the first part, that gives us about 51 books. We paid about $130 for all of them. We're going to see what we profit at the end. All right, here we go. Number one, Venom number two. From 1993, this is a key. This is the first team appearance of the jury and the first appearance of General Orwell Taylor, who is said to be in the movie, played by Mordo himself. Uh, let's just check it out inside. See if we can find that first appearance. Um, there's that. Oh, that's a good paper, huh? Little Bagley art. Nothing. Look at that Bagley art. That's pretty dope. Reminiscent of Amazing Spider-Man days. Um, okay. Bagley does a great Venom. It's very in the form of McFarlane. I like how he does Venom. Um, boom. Let's see if we can find that first appearance. There's Spider-Man. Uh, does a great Spider-Man. This Spider-Man is more in line with Eric Larson's. Um, I'm not going to find this general... Great splash page right there, Venom. Um, I guess we already got the. I don't know, know what he looks like, so we'll see. Um, yeah, that's it. Oh, there he is. Orwell Taylor. Guess Venom killed his son. But yeah, that's the first pick. This book is about a seven dollar book. Uh, it was a little more. But now it's going up a little, it went down, now it's going up. So a great key right there, first book, Venom number two, Lethal Protectors. Boom. Next up, Amazing Spider-Man 529, the third print. This is a $15 book. This is the first appearance of the Iron Spider suit. So this is a key, so let's open it up and see if we can see that first appearance of the Iron Spider suit. Okay, this also has the good paper. Uh, flipping through, for, there it is. What a nice splash page. That's dope. That's a dope splash page. So cool. First Iron Spider suit. Very dope. I would like that on like a T-shirt. That would be great on a T-shirt. Uh, this is about a fifteen-dollar book. Third printing key. Sometimes the third printings have low print runs, so it makes them very, very valuable. Next up, the Sensational Spider-Man number 41. This is the variant. This is part of the One More Day. This is part three of One More Day. This is a $7 book. This is the storyline where Peter Parker and Mary Jane gave up their marriage to Mephisto in order to save Aunt May. Very controversial story. Not a lot of people liked it. I didn't like it. Um, here's part one. Of one more day this is a ten dollar book this is the cover a the cover a's are pretty good this is part two seven dollar book cover a of course there's aunt may down there fighting She's fighting all right a life hangs in the balance and that's a seven dollar book all right spider gwen from nine from twenty thousand 20,000 from 2015 this is a three dollar book issue number two is a three dollar book but we're gonna go up in some prices because for some reason the other books seem to be more valuable so this is issue number two of her first ongoing series solo only a three dollar book but issue number three is worth fifteen dollar book fifteen dollars so that's uh that's a big jump no special keyness about it but it just is so issue number three very nice 
issue number four. It's a five dollar book for Spider Gwen. Boom. Remember, we're averaging for the total, so like two to two fifty dollars a book that we paid for each of these. Spider Gwen number five is a twenty-five dollar book. Yes, I double checked it. For some reason, this is a twenty-five dollar book. It doesn't have a significant key. It is within her first solo series. Um, but yeah, so 25, big one right there. We're at like a $20 profit on that one. Boom. Next up, Blade number five from 20. I keep reading it wrong. 2007. Classic Blade Club. Blade Club. Say your word, Sam. Enunciate. A classic Blade cover featuring Wolverine. Is worth twenty dollars. Yes, this is a twenty dollar book. Um, pretty much based off the cover alone because it's it's very very dope. Very dope. Look at that. Part of that back in black when Spidey was back in his black uh, uniform. Uh, Nova number one from two thousand and seven. This is a ten dollar book. Uh, Rising from Annihilation. It's just a great cover right there. One of those great Nova books. Very, very nice. Ten dollar book. Boom. Black Panther number 18. This is a twelve dollar book from 2006. This is the marriage of Storm and Black Panther. Great show cover. Great show cover. Let's just take a peek inside. See if we can get a glimpse at the Mirage. Oh, I can't get my finger in here. <laughs> There we go. There they are. Oh, what a lovely couple. Let's see if we can get the marriage shot. Uh, 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 uh. Guess they're all talking about the marriage. Boom. Little cap there. Boom. The watcher. Boom. Uh oh, cap facing off against these guys. Boom. Um, Tony Stark. Leading up. Boom. Pretty sure. Oh, look at Storm. Storm looking so pretty. Dope. 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 And then. They both say yes. Very dope. Yeah, they have some troubles along the way, but uh, <laughs> for the most part. They are together. And then the band plays, blah, blah, blah. Very, very nice. Uh, here's the back of that. Very nice. All right, next up, Fantastic Four, number 286. This is a $12 book. This is the return of Jean Grey and the second appearance of X Factor. It's also a newsstand, as we can tell by the barcode. Very dope. Jean Grey returning. After that Dark Phoenix saga, you would think she would return in like a mutant book, but no, she returned in Fantastic Four and the second appearance of X Factor. Very, very dope $12 book from 1986. Very nice. Thor, number one from 2020, is a $15 book. This is when Thor becomes the Herald of Thunder. He becomes a Herald of Galactus. This is written by Donnie Cates and Nick, drawn by Nick Klein. Um, Probably one of the better Thor runs. I believe this is where Gore and all them come in as well. Um, or is it another one? I, I'm not sure. But classic, classic Thor stories right here. Uh, if you're a big Thor fan. Very dope cover. By Kapiel. Very, very good. $15 book right there. Nice. Here we go. Mark Spector Moon Knight from 1990. This is a $20 book. Why? Because it's a classic Rob Liefeld cover. LaFell. This is Wolverine does not appear in this comic, but with Spider-Man and the Punisher guest starring, we have a feeling you won't mind. It's just a newsstand as well. And it's just a classic LaFell 90s cover that even has Moon Knight on it. And it's just very, very dope. Very dope. Boom. Very nice, my friend. Very nice. Next up. We have Scar, Son of Hulk. All right, we have issue number five. This is his first solo series uh, after the World War Hulk event. This is a $5 book. And we also got issue number four with a dope Carney cover right there. 
very very dope um we also have issue number three very very nice that's a five dollar book as well and issue number two with with him riding a dragon that's worth a closer look scar riding a dragon Scar's a dope character. Uh, a lot of people weren't too high on his first appearance in the MCU. Hopefully they'll correct that in his look. But Scar is a dope character. And we also got issue number one, which is a $15 book. This is the first appearance of Scar. And the first appearance of Axeman Bone. First issue, first appearance. There's also a cameo appearance in another book. But this is considered his first appearance in the MCU 616 very nice $15 book very nice next up uncanny x-men 217 this is a $10 book very nice it's got a little simonson cover we all love ourselves simonson very nice $10 uncanny x-men book very very nice now civil war yes Starting off with seven, so you must know. This is a $7 book. Civil War was an event in 2007. There was a movie loosely based on this. Wasn't completely like it. Uh, it. I would suggest reading Civil War. It's a bigger, grander story than the movie. And it's probably one of the best Marvel Comics um, crossover events in history. Uh, so it was written by Mark Millar, drawn by Steve McNiven. And it's issue number seven. It's worth seven bucks. Classic. You've seen this shot in the Civil War movie. That's where they got it from, right here. Boom. Civil War number six. It's also a seven dollar book. Very nice. Dope, dope, dope. Civil War number five. This is when Spidey turns against the people he joined up with and gets the bejesus beat out of him before getting saved by Senor Punisher. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Very, very dope. $7. Issue number four, where a fake clone of Thor comes and kills, I believe, uh, Black Goliath. And that was a big moment in the series. It's a $7 book. Number three. $7 book as well. Classic. Classic cap story right here. Issue number two. It's a $7 book. This is when Spider-Man reveals his identity to the world. He says, hey, I'm Peter Parker. This is a $7 book. And last but not least, issue number one. That's right, I got the whole set. $15 book right here. Started off the whole war between the heroes. Uh, Tony Stark versus Steve Rogers. Classic book right here. Great condition. Issue number one, $15. Very, very nice. All right, let me get the setup and let me get the numbers. I'll be right back. All right, so we're back with the numbers. Uh, remember, this is part two. So in this section, we did 28 books. So at about 255 a book, we paid 7140. 7140 is what we paid for these 28 books. They are worth $285. $285, leaving us a profit of $200. And thirteen dollars and sixty cents. That's for part two. Now the combined total of part one and part two, fifty-one books. We paid one hundred and thirty dollars for them. That's about two dollars and fifty-five cents a book. Their total worth is four hundred and eighty-five dollars, leaving us with a profit of three hundred and fifty-five. That's a big jump. We're three times the 100 mark where we say at 100, you do good. Um, I'm very, very happy. Um, shout out to Emmett and Haven for Heroes out there for the hookup. Great, great shop out there in Port Jervis. Go check them out on Instagram and on YouTube. All right, that's episode number 38 of Comic Book Pickups, ladies and gentlemen. Remember to check us out on Sundays at 5 p.m., 2 p.m. Pacific for film and box office news. Remember to check us out on Mondays for new keys and hot comics of the week at 8 p.m 5 p.m pacific and remember to check us out on wednesdays at 8 p.m 5 p.m pacific for new comic book day live all part of the world's greatest comic book channel 
We thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And remember, you must be a subscriber in order to win our monthly giveaway. And you have to tune into our lives in order to be entered into the monthly giveaway. All right? So thank you guys for everything. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Black is the brightest day. Where are they?